Manufacturers and integrators of consumer and industrial IoT devices today face the challenge of having to address varying customer requirements while maintaining scalability. Examples of diverse requirements include pre-configuring devices for a particular setup, installing specific network parameters, entering log data, and customizing devices for geographic regions. However, as deployment locations and scenarios are typically unknown during device production, production scalability is too often compromised. NXP's EdgeLock SE050 overcomes this challenge with its ISO 14443 contactless interface, which enables secure and convenient parameter and credential management in the field. This lets manufacturers, integrators or end customers add specific settings, keys or data to a generic IoT device after production and assembly, allowing production at scale for diverse use cases and even niche markets. This demo illustrates for any use case the advantage of late-stage parameter configuration. The demo will show how wireless sensor and actuator nodes that are secured by NXP's EdgeLock SE050 can be configured in the field using late-stage configuration. For this, an NFC-enabled phone or tablet is used to exchange data via the ISO 14443 contactless interface of the node's SE050 and connect to a secure backend service. Once the SE050 has been configured for the specific use case, the node is ready for deployment and can be turned on. Let me now show you how this works. In the first step, I use the app on the tablet to connect to a secure backend service using a secure TLS link. I can then enter my username and password to log in to the server. Now we want to configure this specific sensor node to one of the two networks. For this, I first hold the sensor node to the tablet's NFC interface to read out the sensor information. This way, a secure connection is established between the SE050 on the sensor node and the secure backend. The backend will then send the information back to the tablet. We can now see that this is an accelerometer that has not yet been configured. Let me now configure the device by picking a device name and select the network that we want to configure to and then press the configure button and then the app will tell me to reconnect the sensor. I can do this now and the connection is established again between the secure element on the wireless sensor node and the secure backend. The secure backend will tell the SE050 to create a new key pair for this network and the public key will be sent back from the SE050 to the secure backend. The secure backend then creates a new certificate for the wireless sensor node and sends back the certificate and the CA certificate to the wireless sensor node. Once this is done and everything is stored in the secure storage of the SE050, the device is ready for usage and I can turn it on. The device will now connect to the two networks and will only be av available on one of the two networks because the other one does not have the right credentials and cannot communicate with it. So you can see there's no authentication on network B, but the device has been successfully configured for network A and we can see Fabian's 3-axis accelerometer and its data on this display. To summarize, the EdgeLock SE050 offers manufacturers and integrators convenient and secure late-stage parameter configuration in the field. Settings are loaded to the unpowered device with a simple tap of a standard NFC smartphone, tablet or reader. The ISO IEC 14443 compliant contactless interface will be leveraged to write data into the SE050 secure file system. During this operation, the SE050 is powered by the NFC device and offers secure connection establishment based on the SCP-03 protocol. Once the use case specific credentials or parameter settings have been written into the SE050 secure file system, the IoT device is ready for deployment and can be turned on. For more information, visit nxp.com se050. Here you can also find a specific application note explaining all technical details for this use case. For direct help, you can also check out our NXP community in the Secure Authentication subforum.